Jewish banker James Wolveson, former president of the World Bank, just published his biography, My Global Life. In his book, whether consciously or not, Wolveson outlines the Zionist plan to destroy America and to create a one-world government. You see, America, potentially holding the promise of being a strong Christian nation, is the last obstacle to Jewry's quest for global hegemony. In his book, Wolverson outlines the transfer of wealth from the Christian West to the Atheist East. He tells us that America and Europe will drop their having 80% of the world's income to 35%. Wolverson goes on to say that two-thirds of the world's middle class will become not Americans, but the Chinese. Last, Wolverson tells us that, quote, there will be a monumental shift of economic power from the West to the East, effecting a fundamental change in the balance of world power. Now, does Wolverson care about America's decline? Let's see. Wolverson is currently an advisor to the China Investment Corporation, and Wolverson heads his own investment bank, Wolverson and Company, that, quote, provide strategic advice to governments and large corporations doing business in emerging markets. Well, it sounds to me that Wolverson likes these emerging markets of Shanghai and India, where Jewish investment money is flowing and couldn't care less about America's decline. Recently, Wolverson urged a group of students at Stanford University to enrich your lives, just as you enrich your business careers. But what Wolverson should have told those students that with Jewish investment money flowing to China and India, their lives will be impoverished and their business careers will be usurped by that growing Chinese middle class that Wolverson speaks of and is doing nothing to prevent. As president of the Brother Nathaniel Foundation, we are warning Americans that their enemies are not armed terrorists, but financial terrorists, Zionist bankers like Wolverson and company. Come, join us in our fight to save America from the Zionist bankers, and let us give our students a chance and a will to live.